Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lina and I hope you're all doing very well. Today is the second part of my boho style project and I have prepared a unique boho style wall art and throw basket. I saw the wall art in Pinterest and I absolutely loved it but when I checked in the website the prices were up to the sky so I thought I definitely can try and make it myself on my budget and if you want to see more videos like this one subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new video also you can check my other two boho style videos on my channel so let's go and get started for the first project you need throw rug, macrame cord and seashells. First you need to fold the rug in half and glue the sides using hot glue, leaving little space at the bottom. Once I completed both sides with the hot glue to create the form that I needed for the basket, I'm using that quarter left over material that I have not hot glued and I'm folding it to letter T and you have to do this both sides. Once the glue is dried, you have to turn it inside out and now you have bucket shape. You can also use sewing machine or sew it by hand, it's up to you. Last you need to fold it at the top and you can start decorating it using the macrame cord. Measure the width of the basket and cut the same length from the cord. After that cut macrame cord into small pieces, you need a lot of them and loop tie around the long cord. After you have done the whole length, you need to glue it to the folded part. Once the fringe is complete, you need to comb and trim to make it even. And the last step is to glue the seashells to complete the basket. I had this old picture frame at home from a very long time ago and it was finally time to use it. But if you don't have any, you can use only canvas. First I started by removing everything out of the frame and I started sanding it with sandpaper until I removed the clear coat which covered the wood. Next I mixed acrylic paint with water and I started painting or mostly giving it light wash and drying with tissue paper to remove the extra paint.
After I finished with the painting, I put everything back to the frame and I started attaching this canvas with size A3 and I drew guidelines which will help me to glue the canvas in the center. And don't worry if the glue is showing as it will be covered with the sparkling paste later, all you need to do here is to be sure that you will make it strong. Next I covered the frame with masking tape to protect the frame. And then I started applying the sparkling paste which I bought from the pound shop. I'll put all the materials I'm using in the description box below. First I started filling the gaps from all the sides and then I covered the whole surface with the sparkling paste. To create the shapes, the circle and the rainbow, I decided to use air dry clay, I made patterns by cutting the desired shape from paper and I put them on top of the sheet of clay which I rolled out and I cut the shape. I smoothed the edges with my fingers using a little bit of water and then I repeat the same with the circle. To glue the shape of clay to the surface of the canvas, I cut the bottom side of the clay gently and I covered with tiny bit of water which will help to stick better. I applied from the paste to the place where I'm going to. Stick the clay and then I started pushing gently the edges to the surface to help them stick. And last I cover the clay with the sparkling paste, I repeat the same with the circle and I let it dry until the next day. After everything was dried I started gluing the raffia, but first I drew guidelines which will help me to create the desired shape. I cut small pieces from the raffia and I started gluing them from the bottom as we need to create few layers on top of each other so for that reason it's important to start from the bottom. After I finished with the first layer I covered with the paste where the glue was showing and I started gluing the second layer but this time I was taking a bunch of, of the raffia and I was folding it in half and then gluing to the surface. After I finished gluing the raffia, again I took from the sparkling paste and I covered where the glue is showing, using the brush and the knife and also I made the shapes look more organic this way.
And the last step is again to make a wash with the acrylic paint mixed with water using the same technique like I did with the frame and of course I let it dry very well. If you enjoyed this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel it helps pushing this video to more audience and it helps this channel growing let me know in the comments what you think about this project thank you so much for watching and for your support and i'll see you next time god bless you all bye bye